Hello everyone, this is John with another video for you and for me. This video is going to be interesting. Today's product comes from a company called Miami Fruit. And you can see that this box contained frozen durian. If you've seen anything about durian online, or on television you'll know that it stinks and in front of me I can tell you it does stink Miami fruit I've done a video with them before uh, with the banana box where I tasted a bunch of different types of bananas that you can't get in any type of grocery store around here um, and I've always wanted to try durian seeing how people have very different reactions to it a lot of people love durian. Most people don't. This durian that I got here, you can see on the box, it's labeled D24. That's a specific to the type of durian this one is. D24 is also known as Sultan Durian. Um, durian itself is usually known as the king of fruits. Um, so Sultan King, it has double royalty. Uh, it's supposed to have a very pale, yellowish white color. The texture is super thick, dense and creamy, one thawed. And this has been thawing on the, my counter all, all morning. The dis flavor can be described as sophisticated with hints of white chocolate. Um, it also says in here that the D24 durian is consistently the best quality of any frozen durian they've ever tasted. Which is why, of all the ones I got, I did this one for the review. They have a, a, a durian mix box, which came with three different types of durian. Um, so I got that one. Um, previously, I tried one of them long, when I first got in the box. Uh, because it was packaged differently, I didn't know how long it would last. Whereas these ones, it came inside this box, was this black tray, but it was vacuum sealed in this package, which I just opened to thaw it out this morning. The other one didn't have a box or a tray, it was just a plastic wrapper, and it didn't look as vacuumed as the other ones. Whereas this one, you couldn't see any air in it, it looked very vacuum sealed. The other one, it was sealed, but it looked like there was a lot of air in it as well. Um, I can tell you that I didn't like that one. This one, hopefully, has a little bit better flavor. Um, I can tell you, smell-wise, it's about on par. So, without further ado, durian is known for its stink. It smells kind of like rotting onions. And the flavor is similar, but like in a custard form. I'm going to go ahead and, and pick up the biggest piece I have here. You can see i got a bunch of pieces here in different shapes. I'm going to grab the big one. The big one that's about to fall apart, actually just so I can get a bite right there in the middle oh yeah um, when I f the first one I tried of this not only does it taste bad and smell bad but it also makes your breath smell bad but I already ate some garlic today so can't get any worse or can it Sultan Durian give it a taste. Oh, there's like big, big old seeds in there. I'm not sure if you can eat the seeds or not. Mmm, so good. You know, compared to the first one I had, this one's not terrible. 
first one I had didn't have these giant nuts in it, though. How big that is. That whole thumb hides behind it. Well, that one didn't make me vomit. Let's try another one. Maybe the other one I just didn't eat enough of it to get to the center to find the durian nuts. This one's not bad. It's definitely interesting. It's very creamy. The, um... Let me go back over here and see the other durian I got, so you can avoid that one. So, this is at the MiamiFruit.org website. The durian variety pack has three kinds. The Musang King, the D24, which is this one, the Sultan, and the Puyat. Um, and it is the Puyat that comes in the pack that is not, uh, or in my case, it wasn't as sealed. Mm -hmm. and it wasn't in a tray. They get these shipped from the countries they come from, frozen, uh, because fresh durian doesn't really ship well. It doesn't last. Uh, you're losing what they say. You lose a lot of flavor. You lose a lot of the freshness to it. So the best way for us to enjoy durian here in the United States is to have it frozen, then uh, shipped. And then they put it in their own box once they get it. And uh, da, 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 da. the D24 Sultan one is from Malaysia. The, the Puyat... <laughs> from the Philippines and the Musan King is also from Malaysia so it seems as though the at least the ones I tried the Philippines one was not good but the, the Malaysia one was good so maybe the other Malaysian one is good too I like the other ones. Might as well eat some more. So weird. It has like a oniony custardy flavor. This one doesn't taste like as rotten of an onion. More like a, a cooked caramelized onion. I'm not getting like really those sharp, rotten kind of flavors and smells like I got from the other one that I tried. I can tell you, it's not something that's like so enjoyable that I just want to gobble it all up. Uh, yeah. They say you can refreeze this, um, but you don't really want to keep it thawed uh, very long. So if you're going to thaw it, you have to eat it all, or th just uh, get eat the parts that you're going to eat and refreeze the rest. Uh, I think I'm going to give my wife the choice of tasting this or not. She didn't like the other one, so I doubt she's going to say yes, but if that doesn't happen, I'm just going to toss it. Because uh, I got another packet as well. I'm not going to review that one. Um, maybe I'll try to get someone that I don't like to try it. So if you've seen this video and then I offer that to you, I'm just kidding. Anyway,
durian from Miami Fruit. This one at least was pretty good. Relatively speaking. The uh, Puyat one from the Philippines. Didn't like it at all. And it was about $147 to get the multi-pack ship. They're not cheap. Uh, but uh, if it's something that you want to try, MiamiFruit.org will ship it to you. It's the freshest probably you can get here in the States. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this me eating durian video. I'm sorry that I uh, didn't have like vomitous reactions to it. Um, I just go to show you people have different reactions to different things. This one, I was expecting not to, to hate it like I did the other one. When I tasted it, it wasn't terrible. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.